Hi everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a Vince haul to share with you. And this is the last of the clothing from my Colorado Goodwill outlet bins trip. I went about a month ago to Colorado. I brought home 245 pounds of clothing. I paid $1.49 per piece and my average cost of goods comes to $1.85 because I have taken a lot of my haul to buy sell trade and I am going to share the rest of the story with you today. I still have one more video coming up and that is all of the shoes. So if you like bins hauls, please be sure to subscribe and join me for another video. I'm an online reseller. If you're wondering why did I bring home 245 pounds of women shoes and clothing. It's because I flip all of these clothes for profit. That's how I make my living. So if you like content like that, please subscribe and join me for another video. There's a lot to share today, guys. I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to try to keep the pace up. This is a little cotton button front top. And can you tell by the print who this is? This one is Vera Bradley. It's a size small. I've never sold Vera Bradley clothing before. I thought I would give it a try. And the comps do not look promising, but it's mine. It's here and I am going to sell it. This one is Cynthia Rowley. I picked up this piece because it is 100% linen. This is a button front tab sleeve. It does, you can roll the sleeves and make them a little bit shorter. Button front floral linen top in a size large. This brand is sold at TJ Maxx, so I am pretty particular about the pieces I pick up by this brand. This is one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. You've got to let me know what you think about this piece, guys. This is a vintage piece, and the brand is Forenza. This is 100% polyester. Can you see these gigantic shoulder pads? It's got some very fun, interesting buttons on the front of it. And if you can tell, the bottom of this blouse is sheer. The top is more of a satin finish and the sleeves are sheer as well. As soon as I saw this top, it reminded me of Delta Burke from the 80s, right? This is classic 80s vintage in a watercolor. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition. I had to give this one a try. Vintage is not my strong point, but I mean, I can tell a beautiful piece when I see it. So hopefully this will do really well. Next up is a J. Crew piece. I think this is called like Garden... I don't remember. I don't remember, but there is the tag, J. Crew. It's a smaller size, size two. It's in a navy blue eyelet, button front top. My original plan was to take this to the buy sell trade store because they love J. Crew, but the comps on this piece look pretty good. This piece is missing the interior lining. I imagine this was sold with a navy blue uh, tank top, camisole type top, but I'm going to try this one on my own. I've heard this brand does well. It does not do very well for me, but it's always in good condition when I find it. Jay McLaughlin, this is a size extra large. This is like a stretchy knit top. It's in beautiful condition. This is a poly spandex blend, a blue printed Jay McLaughlin. I'm going to give it a try. We have a flannel here. This is a world famous super soft flannel by the brand Rails, which just doesn't move very quickly for me. This one is a size large. This is in the midnight and white colorway. That's what they call it. It does have a little bit of metallic threading on it. These are so soft and they're so expensive to buy brand new. I used to treat myself to one rails of flannel every single year and uh, yeah, Poshmark is the place to buy these because the resale value has really, really gone down. This one I did discover, whoa, a teeny tiny little hole. It's right there teeny tiny little hole in the cuff when I was photographing it and I'm selling it as is. My sister found this little piece. It's Spiritual Gangster. I said, sure, I'll give it a try. I wasn't sure if these exaggerated uh, sleeveless, really, really big armholes on this little hoodie. I wasn't sure if this was manufactured this way or if it was 
a DIY. Turns out it was manufactured this way. These are listed around the $40 price point. Mine is a size small and I did price uh, low. I think I priced mine at $35, hoping to get about $25. Can you see it? There it is. You can see right there the Spiritual Gangster label and we'll see how this does. This is a cotton and linen piece by the brand Cutloose, which is a lag and look brand. It's in the color white. It does have, it's like a faux wrap, guys. It does have an interior button that buttons on the inside and then another one that buttons over here, a surplus neckline, or it is isn't a true wrap. It just buttons and doesn't tie. Um, I'm gonna have to put a picture. Let me put a picture of the label right here because it's, it, my lights are blowing out the label, but yeah, found this piece. This one is a size large. I found this little top and uh, I put it in my cart because it was new with tags. I'm always looking for new with tags at the bins. The brand is Blue Canoe. Have you ever heard of that, Blue Canoe? I had never heard of it, but I did a little research. It looks like this is a uh, website that sells their clothes. They are made in the USA and most of their tops like this, a sleeveless lightweight top like this, sell around 40 to $60. And the resale looks okay. Let me show you the label on this top. Just in case you run into it, I mean, it's worth looking up. This one is ribbed and this is a faux wrap top. This is a cotton modal blend. So it is made of nice fabrics and it's in brand new condition. I don't think I would ever leave this brand at the bins if I found it in good condition because I like selling this brand. This is mod cloth. This is a size large mod cloth. It does have a waist tie, you a tie back detail. It also has the pin tucking on the front, a few buttons, and just this beautiful pink floral split neck top with a ruffle sleeve on it. I did bring home a couple Prana pieces. This one being the first. The other one, they're probably from the same donor because they're both the same size, very similar like base layers. This is an outdoor brand. I think it's probably sold at REI. It used to do really well for me and through the summer there was a big slowdown on this brand, but I'll tell you what, it's picking up now. I have sold a couple Prana pieces in the past like week or so. So this one is called the Krissa Top. It is a wool blend, like base layer in a really beautiful green color. They do call this a dusty teal. I think it's a green. I don't think it's teal, but that's what the manufacturer calls it. So I got this Prana piece and this is in a size small. Okay, this next piece is a little bit random. This is shapewear. This is a corset and it's a brand I've never heard of before, but it's in fabulous condition. So I thought I would try it. If you can tell, I don't know, let me get up close. You can see it does have a scalloped edge on it and it's a really nice stretchy nylon spandex blend. It does have three rows of hook and eye and it also has adjustable straps on it. I'm going to take it off the hanger here because it's a uh, like maybe an Amazon brand. I don't know. Bugaya? Bugaya? There. Let's see. Can you see it? And this one is a size large and shapewear has done pretty well for me. Now this one, guys, I, when I put it on my mannequin, the um, chest is actually coming out of the top. So this is going to hold the waist and the midsection in, but yeah, this is a pretty sexy uh, corset, but I think it's going to do okay. I think I listed this piece at like $30. Okay, I'm gonna mix in a little designer piece, guys. This one is Isabel Morant. This one is a size large, although it really fit my size six mannequin perfectly. Uh, this is a sequined knit short sleeve top, and then it has this eyelet, feels like cotton, but it, it says it's polyester um, on the bottom, looks like this. It's in pretty good condition. It did have a couple pulls that I pulled to the interior of the sweater. Hopefully this will find a new home for the holidays. Do you remember this sweater, guys? I wore this sweater for a video. This is Land's End. This is the Drifter sweater. It's 100% cotton. It's a cable knit and it is new with tags. 
So I have two of them. I did tell you that I also had a red one, exact same size, also new with tags. And the reason I'm not keeping these beautiful cable knit sweaters is they are heavy weight. They are much too heavy weight for the climate I live in. It does get cold a few days out of the year, but this is way too much sweater for me. This is probably one of my favorite pieces from the haul, and this is a cable knit, right? It's a cable knit, right? Would you call that cable knit? Let me know. Shawl collar, beautiful green, 100% merino wool, Irish sweater by Kerrig Don, and you can see it is new with tags. Yeah. This is such a pretty sweater. It's a cardigan sweater and it does have a button on the inside and then this big wooden button on the outside. My sister Debbie found this piece and I thought she would surely want to keep it for herself. This one is a size medium. She was not interested in keeping this one. My sister Debbie is the sister that lives in the cold weather in the mountains of Colorado and uh, yeah, she let me have this. The comps on this sweater are anywhere from $40 all the way up to $150. I am going to aim right in the middle because I would like to see this sweater find a new home. I found this sweater on Amazon and I was so disappointed because you could get this sweater on Amazon for about $100, but if you were going to purchase it in a larger size, it went all the way up to $200. So made in Ireland, merino wool sweater, new with tags and such a cool look, right? Nice style. My sister Barbie found this piece. This one is a North Face, if you can see it right there. And this one is reversible. This is the way I would wear it. I love this faux fur. Uh, I, I just, I love texture, guys. So this one is, like I said, uh, reversible. This is called the Moss Bud. I think that's what it's called. Insulated Vest. And it's, you can see it's good zip pockets there and I did find the size and all the tags this one does have the hologram you can see there's the hologram and there is the north face tag this one is a size large which makes it awesome so yeah and that is what the inside or the outside because like I said it is reversible and I did notice that most of the model picks had the fur on the inside how would you wear it fur on the inside fur on the outside I am a show your fur off kind of girl. I think I mentioned before that I did pick up quite a bit of J. Jill and it's selling, guys. This is a J. Jill corduroy. Can you see that? J. Jill corduroy. This one's a size large and it's kind of a mauve terracotta, super soft. Like it is a feather whale or teeny tiny corduroy. It almost feels like velvet button front collared shirt by J. Jill. Sister Barb found this piece and yeah, she got an A plus gold star for finding this Patagonia. I did uh, put out Patagonia vibes every single time we walked into a bins. Now the only flaw on this full zip Patagonia, here is the tag. You can see the tag right there, but you can see the fabric and the size tag is just worn off. There's nothing there. So I said that this one is probably a size medium, small or medium. It fit my size six dress form perfectly. And I, of course, included measurements on it. But yeah, this was a really nice find. So many tops, lots of tops in this haul. This one is Torrid. It's a size one. It's in perfect condition, full button front, they call this a dolman sleeve. I call that a cap sleeve, looks like this. Barb found this one as well. I picked this one up because, okay, I like the plaid. It's a tunic, it's a great size. It's a size 2X. The brand is St. Jubilees, which is probably an Amazon brand. I was able to find stock pictures of this and I think it's because this is a boutique brand that's been sold many places. This one also has a tab sleeve on it. It's kind of cute, right? I love the color on this top, guys. I couldn't leave it behind. This one is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a plus size, size 3X. It's just a t-shirt in this fun color, stripes with a cuffed sleeve there. So we'll give that one a go. 
more torrid, guys. This one is a size four, which I was excited to find. A little bit larger size torrid top. It's a scoop neck and a scoop back. Do you guys wanna see the tag? Torrid size four, it's in marvelous condition. Okay, this is not one of my best picks, but it's mine, so I will find it a new home. And it's a cute top. It is kind of a boho looking tunic style brush knit top printed it looks like this in the back this is a macy's house brand style and co size 2x and i'm always looking for larger sizes when i am at the bins but i'll tell you macy's house brands don't move very quickly for me but this one like i said i will find it a new home this is one of my favorite torrid pieces that i found this is in a beautiful purple with a black floral peplum top looks like this in the back and this one is a torrid size one which is probably one and two are my best selling sizes in torrid barbie found this little dress and i thought why not give it a try i have never sold this brand before and this is kind of a midi length or maybe even maxi no well ankle length dress and it is going to be a form-fitting sheath dress it does have all of this crochet detail this is called beach waves and it is a line of super dry which is sold at revolve this one is a size medium or a u.s size eight never sold it i thought why not try it it's in great condition it is probably better suited for summertime or vacation right let's uh let's see how it does another dress i found this one this is a black and white striped dress it is uh, like a jersey knit stretch cotton dress the brand is Talbot's it's a size large it's in beautiful shape so yeah that played into me getting this dress I think it'll be a great dress for spring and summer next piece is stitch fix it's a little open front cardigan it does have that waterfall uh, open front on it black and white stripes the brand is market and spruce Ooh. Well, anyway, market and spruce, wait for it, elbow patches on the back. Another cardigan. This one actually had pretty good comps too, guys. A dolman sleeve cardigan. This is a linen blend cardigan that looks like this. This is an anthro brand. What size are you? A size medium. And this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is knitted and knotted. It's actually stamped on that little charm there. Knitted and knotted uh, floral dolman cardigan this is the last of my coats guys i this one got separated from all the other coats so it was the last coat to be listed it's one of my favorites let me get in close it's a very very vibrant black when i get in close it doesn't look as vibrant but you can see how shaggy it is i love this jacket and surprisingly the comps on these look really good this is banana republic and it's a size two or size small. I'm trying to read it in the monitor there. So yeah, just a simple little, it's polyester, fully lined with polyester, but a really cute shaggy like hip length teddy coat. Okay, this top I picked up because of style. I did look it up because it's a tank top. It's kind of a swing um, tank top tunic length and it has all of this lace on the bottom of it and a little lace detail on the front this brand Anna Casey does have a website and the clothes aren't cheap I mean they're not really expensive they're pretty affordable the resale value on this brand looks okay I saw their top selling for as low as three dollars but also up to forty dollars i think this is a really cute piece it's a size extra large and i thought you know plan b i could keep this for myself i think it's very nice it's in great condition so i thought it's worth trying all right here is another land's end piece guys and i picked this up for a few different reasons it is a black it's a paisley i'll get in close so you can see the print on it and this is a brush knit a stretchy brush knit open front cardigan now this is perfect for where i live um, because i like to wear cardigans as you can see i got this one at the bins too this one has no brand but i i like it um, but this one also has pockets lands end longer length open front 
cardigan. I do not like photographing uh, items like this. It's a jumpsuit and I really, really steer away from jumpsuits unless I think they're pretty fabulous. And I do think this one is pretty fabulous. This is loft. It's a size extra large. It is polka dotted and this one is smocked in the back. It does have pockets and it is a wonderful wide leg. Might not sell until early next year, springtime. Because it was so stinking cute, guys, I said, I'll photograph you. I will find you a new home. This one's in really nice shape as well. Um, this piece I wore on Halloween to give out trick-or-treat candy. I should have listed it before Halloween, guys. This is a very sheer, you could use this as a swim cover-up. This is a kimono and I like selling kimonos. This is what the sleeve looks like. This one is a one size and the brand is Shein. I don't usually pick up Shein. I don't usually try to resell this brand, but I did like this kimono and I knew I would wear it myself. And now I'm going to try to sell it. I did get a couple pieces by this brand. It's Elaine Bryant. This is kind of a space dye. It's almost a space dye. Very sheer t-shirt. It does have a zip detail in the back and it's got all this metal stud detail on it. I'm going to get in close so you can see those studs. They are little skeletons. Very, very cute, right? This is Lane Bryant and it is a size 14 16 and skulls and skeletons tends to perform pretty well. We'll see how it does with Lane Bryant. I've never tried anything like this by the brand. I thought this was new with tags. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. New with tags, J. Jill. And this is a size medium. Look how generously sized this size medium little t-shirt is. It is embroidered. It's in a great color. This I would call a teal color does have a button front, some whip stitch detail on it, and you can see there is the tag. Well, I don't know. My lights are blowing it out. This retailed for $79, a new with tag, Pure Jill by J. Jill. I liked this, so I got it. This is a loft piece, perfect for the office, size large, loft, beautiful colors. It's a red color, like a tomato, almost a rusty red floral button front top. Next up is a Lucky Brand t-shirt. I picked this one up because it is a plus size. It's a 3X Lucky Brand, just a t-shirt. Um, kind of a washed look, mauve colored t-shirt. This brand has been moving slow for me, even in larger sizes, but I brought this home anyway. <laughs> this is the other Prana top, guys. This is cute, right? <laughs> With all the stripes. On it, it's a size medium, so maybe it's not from the same donor. This is the little Prana logo that's on the back of it. Little split neck, long sleeve, striped tee. This is another new to me brand, but kind of a lagging look, tunic style. This is a gray cotton long sleeve tunic with this embroidered and appliqued floral detail. This is the brand, Looney. Luni VA Luniva I'm not sure made in Nepal this one is a size extra large it's in very nice condition it's steamed up so nicely so little bit of a asymmetrical hemline on this one this is by anthropology size small little button front top in a burgundy maroon color with that detail little gold and white threading throughout and it also has a button back detail on it. Size small, anthropology, by anthropology. This is a silk tank top by Bob Mackey. It's a size medium. There's not much to it, just a really nice shell, 100% silk. Bob Mackey is known for art to wear. So I do think that people are searching out the more artistic pieces, not necessarily a simple tank like this, but this one's mine. This is a beautiful teal button front top, perfect for the office. It can be worn many other places. J. Jill, it's a size medium button front, and this is what the back looks like. This is a Lane Bryant, guys, a Lane Bryant cold shoulder 
or a shoulder cut out. But yeah, it's it's the cold shoulder effect. This one is Lane Bryant. It's an 1820. It's in great shape. I love the colors on this. And I'm always drawn to the bright colors in the bins. I like to, they make my closet look beautiful. So I got this one. One of my sisters found this one. And actually, I'm so glad that she gave it to me because it's her size. And I think it is absolutely adorable with this sleeve detail. Oh, so cute. It also has a button back and the buttons are cloth covered. A gingham, black and white gingham print by J. Crew, size eight. Super cute. All right, cardigan. This is a cream color cardigan with an open front, a waterfall hemline on it. This is what the back looks like. So uh, interesting back crochet detail. This is Knox Rose, Target Knox Rose, size medium. I have already sold Knox Rose from this haul that I wasn't even able to share with you. So this is a brand, a Target brand that I always take a second look at. This adorable piece is a Madewell piece with these big puffy sleeves and the entire bodice is smocked looks like this and then a little peplum detail on it um, here is the tag the Madewell tag and it's Madewell size small okay a white tank top a Lane Bryant size 1820 white tank top in great condition has this little stud detail on the top of it so another tank top a swing tank top in this like hunter forest uh, green dark green color this one is intimately free people it is a size medium there's a few loose strings on this one and i may end up taking this one to the buy sell trade i don't know i don't know because it's a tank top and even though it's free people i'm still hoping to get maybe 15 dollars for this but if it doesn't move quickly i will probably take it to the buy sell trade this top just makes me happy guys this is a little paisley top the brand is loft is this loft factory and taylor loft it's a size medium and taylor loft so pretty it does have tassel ties on the sleeves a little tunic in size medium this is a free people top that i'm excited to sell this is such a pretty color of green it's also kind of a swing tunic style top it's free people it's a size small uh, tiered tunic top the back has a really big cutout as well, but it does have a little tie detail so you can tie it right in the center. Really, really cute little top by Free People. I've heard other people say that they do well with this brand. It's a cute tank top, right? With all this embroidery detail on the front of it. The brand is Solitaire. This is a brand that is sold at T Marshalls <laughs> right there. It retail for $19.99. At Marshalls, it's a size medium. New at tags, I will remove the Marshalls tag. I just wanted to share that with you. This is an anthro sweater, guys. This is a brand I've never sold before. I don't think I've sold it before. Little brush knit sweater. I didn't know it was anthro when I found it at the bins. A little scoop neck sweater in great condition. The brand is KOA, 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 made in Los Angeles. Yeah, there were some promising comps. I found comps for $35 and $39, but guys, those were both new with tags. The used ones are not reselling real good. In fact, I found sales for $10. Maybe those were auctions. Maybe those were on live sales. Mine is a size large, so it does have that going for it. I'm really hoping I'll be able to move this anthro sweater for more than $10. I'll keep you posted on that. This piece is, is just as cute as it can be, right? It's a tunic top, an asymmetrical tunic top in a really cute print. It's actually very nice fall colors, burgundies, orange, rust, little bit of teal in it. It's a Matilda Jane. It's a size small Matilda Jane. I have the toughest time moving this brand, but it was the bins. This is super lightweight. This is 100% rayon, so you know it didn't weigh much. And I brought it home and I, I could possibly have this next year at this time because this brand has not been moving for me. This piece is not listed. I'm gonna share it with you anyway. I've put some work into this piece. And I know you're saying, Kelly, why didn't you steam it? And I did steam it for the video. 
it just, it needs an iron, guys. It needs to be ironed. And so I've been putting that off. This is fresh produce and it's a size extra large. And I have very good luck selling this brand. This brand is made in America and they tend to use 100% cotton. This piece is 100% cotton. I have picked up pieces that had other fibers besides cotton, but most of the pieces that I pick up are like t-shirt cotton and this is like bed sheet cotton. Are you guys following me right now? This one does not steam out perfect, but this is a button front. It almost, I mean, it's like a lightweight jacket. It could be worn as a top or a jacket, but you can see it's got pockets there, chest pockets, and it does button all the way up the front. It's gonna look beautiful with an iron, but just a shame that it has to be ironed and a steamer won't do the trick. I am not excited about this find. My sister Barbie found these shorts for me. They are a linen blend short. They have pockets, they have an elastic waist on them. Um, these are new with tags and she thought they would be a great pickup. Uh, this is H&M. H&M and they're a great size. What size? They're an extra large. They are made out of tensile and lyocell. So I lied, they are not uh, linen, but they look like this. And my buy sell trade does not like H&M. Thread Up no longer takes H&M. These are a really nice size and they are new with tags, but I don't get excited about selling most H&M. I do, however, get excited about this brand. <laughs> These are men's too. These are board shorts, swim trunks, um, by the brand Chubbies. I think you can see it right there on the pocket, Chubbies. And this is what the inside tag looks like. These are a size large, size large chubbies in fantastic condition, but I have been able to sell these for a nice return even when they're not in perfect condition. So this was a great find. Next up is a pair of linen shorts. These are a pink linen short. They feel so nice, guys. And they do have the zip closure on the side, a flat front and welt pockets in the back. They are a longer length. They almost look like you could wear them to work, right? Like dress shorts. These are J. Crew. They are a size four. And these are from 2020, spring of 2020. So I'll give these a go myself. Another corset, guys. This is Fredericks of Hollywood. That is one of my favorite lingerie brands. Okay, I did not notice this. I'm going to share it with you right here. Okay, so this is a kind of a pinkish purple. What is that color called? Fuchsia? It's not really fuchsia. I don't know. Uh, lace over kind of a tan color. Adjustable straps on it and then it does have the hook and eye there are two hook and eyes there this is fredericks of hollywood there is some nice boning i mean like some strong boning let me see can you see that fredericks it's a size 34 but check this out i only noticed this when i started photographing it that this little blue ribbon does only goes part way and i see some strings hanging on it but I'm selling it anyway. I uh, looked and it doesn't look like the ribbon's been removed from this side. It's just, it's not on the entire cups going across it. Hmm. I have a couple swimsuits here. This is, they're both one piece. I like this one because it's, it's pretty modest. This one is also new with tags, swimsuits for all. It's a size 16. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, it's in wonderful condition. And this one is also a swimsuits for all size 16. This one looks so much bigger, but yeah, this is, they could have been the same donor. It's kind of got that color burst on it, just a pull on, it is not adjustable in great condition, size 16. Okay, we are nearing the end, guys. I just have one basket. This is a window pane ponty pant by the brand J Jill. J. Jill and the size is a medium. This is just a pull-on window pane, gray and black plaid pull-on pants. These are really nice. Most of this basket is pants, denim. This one is Vince, it's a size large. Kind of the same thing. A pull-on straight leg ponty stretch pant in a dark charcoal color. 
Okay, these are a linen pant in a size XXL by J. Crew. These are a pull-on. They do have an elastic waist in the back, but a drawstring in the front, kind of a relaxed style ankle or crop length pant by J. Crew. Did I share the tag with you? Let me do that. J. Crew XXL. Another pull-on. These are a denim stretchy pull-on. Why is that? Let's do that. Okay, that looks better. This is a stretchy waistband by the brand Torrid. They're a size zero, which equates to a size 12. My sister found these and she almost just insisted that I take them. Maybe she wants me to wear them myself. I did not try them on, but they seem like they would be pretty comfortable. Next up is Vince and these are a size two. This is a very skinny leg, like almost a low rise or definitely a mid rise, um, almost like a denim guys, but a lightweight denim straight leg. These do have seaming down the back of them, which really elongate the leg. Welt pockets in the back and a zip fly. This also has the a button and hook and bar closure on it. Vint size two, that could be a hard sale because of the size. These are silver jeans. These are the Aiko and I believe they're a size 30. Yeah, they're a 30, 31 silver jeans, which I haven't been picking up, but you know, at the bins, it's hard to pass on them, and the you off, these often have a lot of wear on the hem right there, but these are in great condition. This is what the pockets look like. They normally have some stitching, sometimes whip stitching um, on the back. Uh, these I loved, and I did look them up before I brought them home, and these are a two-tone denim jean the brand is Carmar. i don't think you'll be able to see it it says right there i'll show you the interior tag these are a size 26 Carmar. this is i've never sold this brand before can you see it 26 Carmar. so i did look up the brand and it looks like the denim sells around 30 to 50 dollar price point and i love these mixed uh, washes like this, this raw hem detail down the front of it. Now, this was called, I, I don't remember, the Mariella Marietta maybe, but it was a boyfriend style and there was a DIY. If you can see right there, someone DIY'd these into a tapered length. I did not notice that while I was there. This is what the back looks like. So I kind of think that looks cool where the pockets have been removed. But guys, the pockets were literally removed. The stock photo showed me these denim with pockets with lots of fringe around the pockets. They're very cool. I am going to try to sell them myself, but I did have to note that these had been DIY'd. I still think someone might enjoy them. There is a buyer that's looking for a funky tapered leg, two-tone, mixed washed, funky jeans, right? There is, there is. Okay, these are soft surroundings, guys. <laughs> soft surroundings, printed, stretchy, pull-on, I believe. Yeah, these are a pull-on denim, elastic waist. Uh, this is what the back looks like. These are ankle pants. I think these are petite too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're a medium petite, soft surroundings. I'll show you that tag if you're not familiar with it. Who are you? I've already forgotten. These are torrid and they're gray and they're a jegging, it says right here. These are like a stretch denim jegging in the size 18. Three button closure with a zipper there, straight leg, skinny leg, I should say, and there is a little zip detail on the back. These are in nice condition. No flaws, no rippling, anything like that. A pair of pajama bottoms. Do you know who they are? I'm sure that you do. These are Victoria's Secrets. These are their signature pink stripe satin pajama bottoms, and these are in a size medium. These would do much, much better had I found the top for them, but I didn't. This is all I have. These were one of the last things I found on this whole trip, guys. The last day, in the last few minutes, I found these jeans, Love and Legend Premium Denim. They are uh, size 12, and I looked them up because I was not familiar, and these 
retail for about $125. That is roughly about what Madewell sells for, right? So I thought I should give these a try. I love the, I love the two-tone wash, the released hem, and look at how wide that leg is. When I came home and checked the comps on these, they weren't as good as they, I thought they might be. I found a lot more solds that were in the like $20 to $30 price point. I'll take it. Those are kind of heavy. I probably paid like $3 for them. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this piece. I've got a few more pieces to share with you. We're almost done. You guys are awesome. Camo denim, guys, and these are a skinny camouflage with a racer stripe on them. There is some stretch in these denim. This is Zara. They're a size 10. Um, they're in really, really nice condition. I still love that tuxedo stripe, racer stripe down the side. That also tends to elongate the leg. Okay, I found these board shorts, which I think are so cute. These are women's board shorts. They are by the brand. You can see it, the label is right there, or the logo, Maui Rippers. And you can see in here, Maui Rippers, they're a size 12. They're in great condition. Such a cute print and kind of a teal blue color. Um, so yeah, my sister liked these. My sister spends a lot of time at the lake and swimwear and she thought those were a nice quality. I've never found this brand before. These are men's, but I thought I would go ahead and give these a try. These are small too. They're an extra small and they are by the brand Psycho Bunny. Psycho Bunny men's board shorts in really nice condition there is the little psycho bunny logo there so got those and then the last pair of shorts is a linen pair of shorts these i think are ann taylor they're ann taylor factory and they are a size 10 there you can see ann taylor factory i did get these because they are linen linen and the condition is great okay I am going to complete the story. I told you guys about hitting a bin. This was shortly before I left and the entire trip was over. I hit a bin, it had Faraday in it and it had this piece in it. And I decided I was going to go through the entire bin. And as I was going through it, they said, excuse me, ma'am, we're taking this bin away. But this is the first time I have found this brand out in the wild and it's a swimsuit. It's a swimsuit that looks like this. This is a navy blue swimsuit, and the name of it escapes me. But what is it called? I can't remember. I just can't remember. Um, it does have this little bar, gold bar, on the back of it that says the brand name. And the label is coming off on one side. But, okay, but look at there. Can you see it? I might have to blow this up. I will make sure that you see this label. This is Stella McCartney, size extra small, little swimsuit with the lace-up detail in the front. Okay, it does have a couple flaws. The first one being that this tag is not attached. And the second flaw, which I don't think is such a big deal, is you can see uh, one of the laces doesn't have that little metal tag on it. But yeah, that is how I ended my trip, finding the Robert Graham, finding the Faraday, and then the Stella McCartney piece. That is all the clothes. I am currently processing shoes right now, so that video will be coming soon. Make sure that you are subscribed if you want to see all the shoes. I got some really, really great shoes. I, I do have some accessories, guys. I think I picked up four or five hats, a couple handbags, um, just a, a few like miscellaneous things. I might throw that into the shoe video. We'll see how long that one is. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You are the best and I will be back soon with another video. Blessings to all of you.